Today we're going to unravel the extensive web of evidence that all but proves that Mineta will be the 10th permanent user of One for All. Now using information from the manga, anime and the Ultra Analysis book, I have now reached a level of consciousness that has allowed me to see the truth for what Horikoshi has been hiding in plain sight. I'm going to tell you guys all the hints that not only point to Grape Juice being the 10th user, but will also see why only he can stop the quirk singularity and will explain why Deku would have no choice but to give him one for all. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and yeah, that's pretty much it. To start with, in season 4, he notes that he can't hold the guitar properly because of his lackluster character design. Why is it that this is the only character, the only student at least, who's aware that he's a character in a show? Quite similar to The Matrix, where most humans lived inside a simulation completely unknowingly, the chosen one, Neo, was able to break out of this mindset and thus manipulate The Matrix to his will. I believe that something similar will also be true for Grape Juice, as because he's aware of The Matrix that is My Hero Academia, he'll be able to do things that would be impossible for other characters, but we'll get to that later as well. Remember this guys. According to the Ultra Analysis book, Mineta is the most intelligent male student at UA, with an almost perfect 5 out of 6 score. That makes him more intelligent than Bakugo, Tenya, Deku, anyone you can think of, there is no male student who has a higher level of intelligence than Grape Juice. The amount of brains makes him the ideal successor for One for All, as he can harness both the power of his balls with One for All, and use it in a way that few characters would be able to master. The nature of his pop-off quirk is perfect for a character with his level of intelligence, as it allows him to bounce off the balls, but everyone else sticks to them. And all of that leads me to why Mineta would be the perfect symbol of peace. As well as having the intelligence, as well as having the great quirk, and as well as being able to see outside the matrix that is My Hero Academia, Horikoshi left us a very obvious clue as to why Mineta will be the next All Might. As we know, the previous users of One for All each have a meaning in their name that corresponds with their position. For example, All Might's name has the kanji for 8, which signals the fact that he was the 8th user. Mineta has an even greater meaning than that, as his surname literally contains the kanji for Summit. A summit is the peak of something, it is the best of the best and cannot be surpassed. All Might was the summit of hero society for decades, but was unable to actually kill the evil that was all for one. And this is important because when we read the manga, it clearly says that One for All was specifically created to defeat All for One. And although All Might kind of succeeded, all for One is still alive and it's likely that his successor Shigaraki will get All for One in the future and break him out of prison. So what we need to stop him is not All Might, it's not Deku, it is the last user of One for All, the person who will harness the power of all the generations and become the highest peak that cannot be surpassed. That my friends will be the summit of One for All aka Minoru Mineta. The meaning in his name clearly displays why he will be the one to defeat Shigaraki and I'm going to explain why Deku will give him the quirk but let me just explain two more things before that. Because Mineta has the unique ability to break the fourth wall, this may grant him the ability to be aware of future arcs and storylines. It only makes sense because his character is aware that he's in a series, right? In this panel, he tells Eri to look him up in 10 years. And while to many of you, this was blindly interpreted as a perverted statement by Mineta, to me it's clear what he really meant. When Deku dies trying to defeat All for One, just as all the previous holders have done, except for All Might of course, Eri will need someone who can train her to use this complicated rewind quirk. Mineta will be the best person to do this as as we already established he's one of the most intelligent characters with a quirk that is arguably just as complex if not more complex. He tells Eri to look him up because he knows what is going to happen. Sort of like Dr. Manhattan, Mineta doesn't experience time in a linear fashion but rather he experiences the past, present and future simultaneously. But moving on, the second thing worth mentioning is his close friendship to Deku and his ability to work well in a team. Deku and Mineta worked together during the first villain attack on UA, and in fact it was their great combination as a team that led to several villains being defeated. Later in the manga, we also see that Mineta is incredibly supportive of Deku. Look at this beautiful bromance, like you're not going to find that anywhere else. And if we take a closer look at these panels, Deku and Achako are clearly at the beginning of their budding romance. But whilst all other characters look at these two with happiness in their eyes, Mineta looks on in complete horror. It's highly likely that Mineta experiences reality different to the other students, and is horrified to see that one day, Deku and Achako's love will come to a violent end when he's killed by All for One or Shigaraki. And with that said, let's get into why Deku would give him the quirk and how having one for all would help him defeat the quirk singularity. So starting with the singularity, 
This is the idea that quirks are evolving faster than the human body can handle, and that in a few generations, society is doomed to be filled with people whose bodies can't actually handle their quirks. This will lead to the extinction of the human race and ties into the theory that quirks are a disease, believed by both Overhaul and Destro, who was the leader of the Meta Liberation Army. Bearing in mind that quirks are a disease, Mineta's hero name is an obvious foreshadow from Harukoshi. For those that don't know, his hero name is Grape Juice, and when we go on nutritionfacts.org, we can clearly see that when a study compared multiple varieties of juice, purple grape juice is the best juice for preventing various diseases. Horikoshi has done it again, people. He's done it again. Only he could sneak this in there. If purple grape juice prevents diseases, and quirks are a disease, and quirks are evolving to a point where they'll destroy humanity, then Mineta is clearly the one who's going to alleviate society of the harsh burdens of their quirks. But, crucially, he'll only be able to do this with the power of one for all. So my friends, why is Deku going to give him one for all? Well, we've seen on at least two occasions that Deku is more than willing to pass on this power. He firstly offered it to Mirio during the overhaul arc, and it was only because Mirio straight up refused that Deku was able to keep the quirk. Then in the Heroes Rising movie, he fully passed the power onto Bakugo so that they could both defeat Nine. And Bakugo even says to him that this is the end of your hero dream, a fate which Deku gladly accepts. It was only because Bakugo was not unconscious that the previous users of One For All made the conscious decision to go back to Deku. This is because they knew that one day an even greater hero would arise to take on the mantle of the 10th user. Deku will pass on One For All to Mineta as insurance before the big battle with Shigaraki. We know this because by this point Shigaraki will not just have awakened his decay quirk, but will also have the power of All For One and many other quirks that All For One has accumulated throughout the years. Knowing that the battle will be hard, in the same way that he passed the quirk to Bakugo to defeat Nine, Deku will pass the quirk to Mineta so that they can both defeat Shigaraki. As by passing the quirk, you essentially have double the power of One For All. However, even though Mineta knows Deku will die because of what we talked about earlier, he will still begrudgingly go through with the plan because Mineta knows that that's what the storyline requires, so he's playing along to his part in the story. In the source material, in the actual official translation of the manga itself, Deku says in the first chapter that this is the story of how he became a great hero. Deku will still be a great hero after his death at the hands of Shigaraki, and in fact he will die happy knowing that his close friend Mineta can complete the mission of defeating All For One. And not only that, but Mineta will complete One For All and bring it to the summit, bring it to the peak of its powers, as Mineta will be the last user. I think with all the evidence presented today, it's very clear what Horikoshi is signaling and if Mineta is not the 10th user, honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I think it is almost 99% guaranteed that Mineta will be the 10th user of One For All. But with that said, be sure to let me know what you guys think will happen. In my opinion, like I said, there is no doubt that Mineta is the perfect character to succeed Deku and the hints are all indicating that. And who else is going to stop the Quirk Singularity and raise the next generation of Quirk users? I mean, it's, it's got to be Mineta. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and peace out. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, guys.